wanted to share with you this cute little simple um, mini album this can actually be used for different purposes um, you can use it as a mini album a recipe album um, an autograph book you can use it just a journal this little book here can be used for many different purposes and I'm only using leftovers I made an album with the paper collection by graphic 45 which is floral shop and I can't show you the album yet because I actually made it for a personal swap that I'm in but I did have a couple of leftover sheets and I actually I think I had one and a half leftover of the 12 by 12 and this is what I made with it and what I done was I just took um, one inch ring binders little metal ring binders here I tied some seam binding on them and then here on the front I just added the paper I added some little flowers here this is a chipboard piece and here's a little pearl bling piece here okay and these flowers they're prima flowers um, they're recollections flowers and there's some other brand that I got from Michaels um, all of them are from Michaels except for the prima flowers okay so it opens up like this and then here on this side the front you have just a little pocket here and I had a couple of the cut aparts left or the um uh what are these three by four cut apart or ephemera pieces I forget the name of this stuff but anyway I had these left over and so I wanted to use these somewhere too so I just made a little pocket here with more of my scraps and then I have this little chipboard piece here and I just added some seam binding and what I did was I added 20 pieces of cardstock they're just plain cardstock I did ink around my edges you know just to give it a little something so it wasn't so plain and I done that on the front and the back of each one as well so like I said this can be for photos I made it where you can place a 4 by 6 on here no cropping needed at all or you know you can take a recipe card you can add a recipe here and it can be an autograph book it can be just a journal you know you can jot down your daily you know what you done on a daily basis here and the good thing about this is you can always add more pages or you could take pages out you know with the ring binders here that's the one good thing about you know this type of binding is you can always add more or less if you wanted to okay but then here on the back I done the same as the front I just made a little pocket here so you have two more of the little cut aparts and this is the paper and then the little scrap that I had and again I just added a little chipboard piece here with some seam binding and then on the back I left it plain so as you can see this is so super simple and I will have a tutorial that will be following um, this part here and I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day thanks again okay y'all so to get started making this little album this album is super super quick I'm going to use um, the graphic 45 floral shop and I'm only using my scraps I made an album with this paper collection and the scraps that I had left over is what I want to make this album with so what you need okay you're gonna need two one inch um, ring binder metal ring binders here okay you're gonna need two pieces of heavyweight cardstock that are four and three quarters by seven and an eighth okay and for my album I used 20 pieces that are four and a half by seven okay and like I said I I've got 20 of these all right and what I did since I'm using a gray heavyweight paper I went around my edges and I just inked them up with gray and the gray that I used is London fog okay and I done that to each one of them and I've already got my pieces cut out and I've already got them inked on the edges as well so what you want to do you want to take your ruler okay you're gonna line it up you're gonna make a mark at the one okay and you're gonna go down here and you're gonna make another mark at the one all right now I'm gonna take my hole punch my chomper thingy here and I've already got it set so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find my little mark here Okay, I'm going to place it in the center of my little hole, and then I'm just going to go up, okay? And I punched out. Now I'm going to do the same thing 
on this side. Okay, so you see this is what we have. All right, now I'm just going to take this one, line it up, and do the same thing. I'm just going to go over top of these holes. Okay, so now this is what you have. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to punch holes on each one of my pages. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to start with, all right, I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to line it up to where I want it. Okay, I have space on this side as well as this side. And I want my space to be even. So you can either measure it or you can just eyeball it. Okay. I'm going to eyeball mine. Alright. So this is where I have it. Now. I'm going to hold it tightly. Flip it over. And you can either mark it with a pencil. Or you can go ahead and punch it out. Whatever you want to do. Okay. So you see I'm just marking this with a pencil here. Alright. So there we go. I have my two little spots where I need to punch out. Now I'm just going to go through and punch all these out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have them all punched out, I'm going to set them to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and decorate these pieces here. So I'm just going to add my glue to this top one here. Okay, and if you want to, you can always, you know, add your design paper before you punch out your holes. That's totally your choice. This is just the way that I do it. Okay. So I'm going to stick a piece of scrap underneath here. Alright. Now when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay. Now, you're going to take your hole punch go ahead and punch these again okay all right now I'm gonna decorate this side okay but I need to make sure now okay this is my front so whenever I flip it over this way this is gonna be the back of the inside front here all right so I'm just gonna take my piece Again, I'm just going to add my glue all the way around. Okay. I'm going to line it up where I want it. Or place it where I want it. Okay. Okay, you see I've got glue coming out. No big deal. Just wipe it off. And I apologize, y'all, for my fingers being blue here. But I've been dying some seam binding. And I'm having to... I'm using the blue color. So it'll match this album here. But I won't be able to add my seam binding until it's all dried. But I wanted to go ahead and show you this part. Okay, but you'll see the finished seam binding before you even see this part because I'm going to place the video beforehand. Alright, anyway. Okay, so I have this little piece here punched out or cut out and then I've used my decorative punch to punch out the side here. Okay, I've added glue to the top, the bottom, and one of the sides here to make a little pocket. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up, place it down, and press. Okay. And again, that glue is coming out. No big deal. Alright, it's going to dry clear anyway. Okay, so I'm going to sit this one front aside because this is my front. Okay, and it's already done. I'm going to sit it to the side. Grab my back piece. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Got to punch out my holes here. Okay, my front side here. Go ahead and punch out these holes. There we go. Okay, and if you'll notice, okay, the holes are going to be on your front cover. The holes are going to be on the left. Okay? So, when you have your back piece, your holes are going to be on the right. Okay? So make sure you remember that. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to take my decorative paper, glue it down. Sorry, I buttoned the camera there.
Okay, just going to glue this down. Okay, burnish it. Punch out my little holes here. my holes let me make sure I got this right now because you kind of want to make sure that you do this right okay this is my front this is my back okay so now the inside of the back piece the holes are going to be on the left okay so I'm going to take my decorative paper glue it down Place it where I want it. Put my little scrap piece under here. Okay. Burnish it. Glue coming out. No big deal. Alright. Now, same thing. I've already got my little piece cut out. I've got my border punched. I'm going to add glue to three sides. Okay. And you actually, you don't even have to make a pocket. You know, you can make, if you have enough paper, you know, you can just make it go all the way across or whatever you want to do. Like I said, I'm just using my scraps that I had from the album that I created. Okay. Now press that down. Alright, got my glue coming out. There we go. Now I need to punch out these holes. Well, they've been coming out so good for me. Now it wants to get stuck in there. There we go. Alright. see it now we're going to put the album together with these little hooks we're just going to open them up okay we're going to add our back side we're going to lay it down first we have our pockets and then our front okay so we're just going to take it run these little hooks through the holes Close it up. Do this one. Close it up. And there you go. You have a cute and simple, simple, simple mini album. And, you know, you can add design paper to this. You don't have to do it with plain color cardstock. If you don't want to, this is just the way i done mine. And the reason why i done that is so you can add just your picture. Okay, so, you know, you have scraps that are left over. You just want to make a little something. Here you go. This is perfect. Okay. And you see here, you do have more space if you want to add more. Um, okay. See here. If I were to open this up, you can add more of the little um, cardstock pieces here if you want to. You have plenty of space here. But keep in mind, when you add your pictures, it will build up the album here. Okay. So keep that in mind whenever, whenever you're making one. All right. So now I'm just going to add my seam binding to the edges here. I'm going to decorate the front. And that's it. Super, super simple. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.